Bonjour. It is a wonderful privilege to be here and to present to you some of the work that we have been doing in making hearing healthcare accessible and affordable in low and middle income countries. So healthy hearing is the gateway to healthy learning for young children. If you don't hear well, you cannot learn well. In fact, if you have a significant hearing loss, you won't learn language at all if it's not detected early. Minimal hearing losses result in significant failures academically in school, uh, undermining the sustainable development goals. But it's not just children. Hearing loss in adults leads to social isolation. So it's not surprising that it's a leading contributor to increased levels of depression and a threefold increased risk of dementia. So hearing loss is referred to often as an invisible or even a silent epidemic. Invisible because we don't see it. Uh, invisible because parents oftentimes don't even know their young child has a hearing problem. But it is an epidemic because of how widespread it is. The most recent WHO figures indicate that 466 million persons globally have permanent disabling hearing loss. That's just less than 6% of the world population. 37 million of these are young children. And I think the important fact here is that 90% of these children live in low and middle income countries where they have hardly any access to hearing health care and early detection. So it's not surprising that hearing loss is ranked according to the Global Burden of Disease Study as the fourth leading contributor uh, of the years lived with disability and it has a significant global price tag estimated to be 750 billion US dollars annually due to undetected hearing loss or untreated hearing loss. So it's a significant global problem. And the major issue is around access to early hearing care and preventative care. 60% of childhood hearing loss is in fact preventable if we can detect it early or we can initiate preventative actions. Something as simple as chronic middle ear infection is one of the leading causes of um, hearing loss in low and middle income countries just because it's not detected early enough and it doesn't get the right treatment. A staggering and shocking fact as well is that less than 3% of individuals who can benefit from a hearing aid in low and middle income countries actually get one. I think that illustrates the inequitable access that there is to hearing health care, especially in low and middle income countries. And it's not surprising if we think of the fact that there are less than one hearing health care professional to every million people um, in an area of the world like sub-Saharan Africa. Another major barrier is the fact that test equipment to assess hearing loss and diagnose it and screen for it is very expensive. It's usually stationary. It's centralized. It requires expertise from healthcare professionals to operate these tests. And oftentimes the data capturing is still paper-based, so it's not centralized and can't be managed remotely. So all these are challenges uh, that we face if we think about those who suffer from hearing loss around the world. So about five or six years ago, we set ourselves this task to really have the mission to find a way to make hearing healthcare affordable in terms of the access using smart mHealth solutions that can be used by anyone, anywhere. That was our mission. We started in 2013 at the University of Pretoria. I have an adjunct position at the University of Western Australia as well. And uh, we started with this investigative project to see how can we leverage mobile technologies to make hearing health care uh, more accessible. All the work we've done has been evidence-based, published in leading peer-reviewed journals. Uh, in 2014, 18 months later, we uh, developed and patented the first clinically validated uh, mobile hearing test solution. And in 2015, the IP was transferred to a social impact startup called Yearscreen at that stage. In 2016, the name changed to YearX Group uh, because of a, in, uh, a widening range of products that goes beyond just the Yearscreen product initially. And it's really a startup 
focused on impact. How can we reach more people in a more effective way? So the core innovations that underlie this technology is first of all that we leverage the power of mHealth. We use patented point of care diagnostics using a smartphone that allows for hearing screening and detection and diagnostics, but then of course also links to a cloud-based data management service that allows us to do surveillance, uh, reporting, telemedicine, and referral to local um, clinics and service providers. We also leverage the fact that we want to scale affordable access. So using low-cost smartphone technologies and web-based solutions, we can decentralize and reach people at scale very quickly. We also employ the advantage of using smart solutions. So we incorporate smart analytics, artificial intelligence to automate our pre test procedures, to enhance this, to assist with our diagnostics, and to optimize the entire pathway of care from point of entry right through to intervention and support. And finally, we also uh, believe very much in the inclusion of simplicity. So we need simple solutions that are enjoyable, that people want to operate and can operate, that includes quality control features that allow people with minimal training in communities to operate these devices so that they can truly be used by anyone, anywhere. And this picture illustrates a, um, a member of a local community called Charles. He has no uh, training in healthcare, but here he is providing a hearing healthcare screening service to young preschoolers in a very underserved community utilizing these simple technologies. And here I thought it would be useful just to mention the fact that last year UNESCO selected our technology as one of five case studies illustrating uh, the inclusion of digital solutions that can be used by people with minimal training and, and that these really contribute towards the sustainable development goals to include people and in delivering services um, remotely. And we, we were here in UNESCO last year for that um, presentation. Our technology has also been recognized uh, by numerous awards. Um, the United Nations Development Program last year selected our um, solution as one of a handful of social impact startups that can significantly contribute to the global um, a reduction of the burden of disease, but also towards sustainable development goals. And we've been recognized by a number of media houses. Some of the users of the technologies, just to give you a sense of this, includes large NGOs that do screening in schools or preschools and diagnostics for them. It also includes government programs, and then both for children, but also for adults. For example, sound uh, or drug-induced hearing loss, um, like TB uh, medications, multi-drug resistant TB or malaria uh, treatments often cause hearing loss, and the technologies are used to monitor and do surveillance in remote regions. So the global impact so far, um, our hearing test solutions have connected people to hearing health care, um, close to 120,000 people to date, and we're seeing an exponential growth in that trend. We've reached 25 countries to date, um, increasing uh, every month. And just an interesting aside is that we've seen it's great to be able to deliver hearing health care, but we often get the question, what about the eyes? So we've partnered with a group in the UK, also a social impact startup, that have done exactly what we've done for hearing, and they've done that for eyes. And we've incorporated their solution into our ecosystem. So using the same mobile device, the same web-based uh, management portal, you can do both hearing and vision screening and diagnostics. So I'd like to illustrate this with a video uh, to give you a sense of how this technology works. Hearing loss is called a silent or invisible epidemic. It's invisible because parents oftentimes don't realize their child has a hearing problem. It's an epidemic because it's much more common than people often believe. As many as one in 10 children may suffer from an educationally significant hearing problem. 
the need that's being filled by this particular project um, is the fact that many children with barriers to learning are never identified as such. So they'll they'll be uh, early on they'll be identified perhaps as children who don't listen, or they uh, they are um, obstructive in class, or they they they're labelled as being stupid because they're not learning, um, and then behavioural problems start setting in, and then they end up falling behind in school, and it's kind of this, this terrible cycle that sets in, all because right at the beginning uh, a, a critical barrier to learning was not identified. So I think if if we identify this barrier to learning, it just opens up a completely different life trajectory for those children. This demonstration project is a first of its kind to offer hearing healthcare services in communities in ECD facilities. The aim of this project is to scale it nationwide so that every child will have access to healthy hearing. They've now added vision uh, screening as well, so that it's a complete product that includes hearing and vision screening for young children from the ages of three to six. And it can be administered at scale by community workers using very simple um, mobile device and calibrated headsets. So it's really absolutely perfect in terms of uh, our objectives of reaching the most marginalized children. It allows us to test children in ECD centers so that we can detect them much earlier than actual school age. And this allows us to give them interventions such as hearing aids and other audiological support to allow them to function alongside their normal hearing peers. That's really rewarding for us as, a, as the innovation agent supporting a team like this, you know, that they're totally committed. It's, it's really rewarding. Thank you. So I'm going to end off just by saying that these technologies really do provide us with the opportunity to radically change service delivery models, the way in which we provide these services, the way in which we link people. And uh, we're excited about the initial impact and we look forward to partner with more people to see hearing healthcare become available and accessible to everyone everywhere. Thank you.